गोवा पुलिस हैज़ टेकन सम एक्सटेंसिव सिक्योरिटी मेजर्स फॉर द गोवा असेंबली इलेक्शन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू थ्रू आउट द नॉर्थ गोवा डिस्ट्रिक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव डिप्लॉयड सेवरल नाकाज इन एवरी पुलिस स्टेशन वी हैव अ टीम ऑफ थर्टीन स्टैटिक सर्वेलेंस पॉइंट्स वी हैव वी हैव थर्टी एट फ्लाइंग स्कॉड्स एंड वी हैव रिसीव फ्रॉम द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट a total contingent of 27 companies of the CAPF apart from these 27 companies which number around 2500 personnel over 1200 personnel from the north goa district alone are involved in the in ensuring that goa has a safe and fair elections goa police is going proactively uh, is working proactively on a 24/7 basis to ensure uh, the security in these elections at every booth and every polling station uh, we have deployed not only officers from goa police but we have also deployed the central armed police forces this is done with a uh, with you know with the intention of giving the message that uh, goa is a safe uh, goa has a safe election goa is all for security of the voters we have uh, been working Uh, proactively in increasing the confidence in the voters uh, by carrying out flag marches which happen almost every day across constituencies in north goa uh, these flag marches are from the point of view of telling the voters that we are in a safe place you should all come out and uh, vote for us vote for uh, vote for the assembly elections uh, in addition we have made a detailed list of over a hundred criminals which are active in north goa district all these criminals are being checked regularly who are on bail they are being checked they are being bound down uh, by the magistrates and we have also carried out externments which means we have sent out criminals who were residing in their areas out of the areas uh, to instill that confidence in the voters that no there's not going to be any influence of, on them uh, speaking of influence we've also Uh, made a lot of seizures of freebies illicit alcohol drugs if i were to give you some figures uh, then the seizure of drugs has crossed over 1.5 cr worth of illicit uh, liquor drugs has seizure has gone above 15 lakhs uh, in these assembly elections so far uh, we've also uh, confiscated freebies like mixer grinders laptops etc so this is all from the view of ensuring that elections are a level playing field for all candidates and the public finds it find itself safe uh, and secure to come out and vote uh, on the il- election day uh, we are expecting a huge turnout because of the safety safe and secure environment that we have provide uh, we have uh, made there have been some unique initiatives by uh, goa police the first uh, was since this is an election which is being held during covid times uh, we have carried out extensive sweep activities uh, we have given out masks with uh, with uh, qr codes of the c vigil app so the c vigil app is being promoted the c vigil app is an app on which any voter can go and flag any illegality any irregularity that the voter sees in the area once the uh, voter registers that complaint the flying squad immediately reaches the spot and ensures that whatever uh, whatever uh, illegal activity is going on is rep- is reported to the police and we immediately take action so we have promoted the sea vigil app we have also accompanied the district administration on its uh, on its uh, on its mission to collect postal ballots from the homes of senior citizens who are unable to come to the voting center so that is another unique initiative by the uh, goa government uh, to ens- by the goa Uh, election apparatus to ensure that the voting is uh, voting rights are uh, exercised by all and age and di- physical disability of any kind is not a factor in voting uh, apart from this uh, we have also uh, along with district administration given out letters uh, inviting over 80 years old and pwd voters to come to the voting center and if they need any assistance we will be providing them that assistance to travel to the uh, polling booths so goa police uh, is not only securing the environment securing the premises and the polling booths instilling fear in the minds of the criminals and confidence in the minds of the voters but it is also uh, assisting 
uh, the, uh, the district election apparatus in conducting uh, fair and uh, peaceful elections and reaching out to the people and, and instilling that sense of confidence in them. So I urge all of you to come out and vote on 14th February. Go to your polling station and make sure you cast your vote. Thank you.